right, so we're going to do a quick site survey. And the first place to start is right near the access point of the wireless device. I've got a pad of paper with a plan of what I'm going to measure and where. And I've got my NetAlly AirCheck with me so I can do my measurements as I walk around. So step one, right beside the unit, we'll get our first baseline and then we'll move around from there. So our first measurement, we're going to select the wireless network. There's two of them here. There's a 2.4 and a 5 gigahertz network appropriately. So you, I'm sorry, named appropriately. So I'm going to pick the 2.4 first. I'm going to hit connect. Off it goes to the races. All this stuff is going to be recorded. And the nice thing about this, because I've claimed my unit, that's the uh, terminology NetAlly uses, it will upload my results to my Link Live account, so I really don't have to take much notes, other than this is my first test. So right beside my unit, I've got my analog recording device, and I've got a plan of where I want to test. It doesn't have to be exhaustive, just an idea of where you're going. And that way you can make a little check mark, and when you go to your Link Live account, when you see all your results, You'll know the first test was wherever, and so on and so on. So when you're outside taking your measurements, obviously pay attention to where you are. If you have any buildings, interference, factories, that kind of stuff, maybe take a picture with your phone or maybe a video, do a sweeping kind of panoramic scan if you'd like, so you can go back later and view it. Or if you have to share it with somebody else, you can show them what it looked like at that time. So not only do you want all the RF stuff, but you also want to make sure you understand the physical environment. So in this case, it's, uh, I'd say, pretty clear. I think you might be able to see there's a, a small barn all the way down there, but I think we're good. All right. So one of the tips I can give you is when you start using these uh, wireless, any wireless unit, in this case, it's the NetAlly AirCheck, Make sure you orient yourself appropriately. So if, if I'm over here with the thing I'm trying to test or do a site survey for, like a camera or whatever it happens to be, and its access point is all the way in that place there, that building, well, the last thing I want to do is keep this unit between or have my body between it and the target. So I want to make sure that I'm always facing wherever I happen to be, especially if you have directional antennas. But for the most part, just find a spot, a little table or something, lay it down, hit the test button, it only takes a minute, and then move on to your next step. So one part of this baseline is going to be the RF side of it, RSSI, noise, all that kind of stuff, but then the other part of it is going to be actually running an iPerf through the actual network, so that way I can find out what throughput looks like. A lot of people have a hard time figuring out, is an RSSI a negative 70 better than a 90, better than a 50, better than a 60? And what about signal noise ratio and all that kind of nonsense? Well, I suggest you just ignore all that with your first baseline. Find out the net result. Find out what the real mileage is on your network. If you start to find some issues, even if you don't find any issues, you can backfill the report with all those technical bits of information that you might find out as you go along the baseline or when you're done the baseline. There you go, folks. I'm back in the office, sitting at my desk. So let me know what you think about that. I could do more videos in that format if you like, walking around actually doing stuff. Uh, I can also mix it up with more slides. Let me know what you think, what topics, what format, and I'll do more stuff for you. Have a good day. Bye for now.